What's going on guys, it's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video So it looked like Shiloh and Sador sat down with the media and goes in about this 2024 season Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Boulder Let's get it, let's go Kylo and Shador Sanders went in today, bro. They went in and they bagged out. The reporters was trying to gap them up with everything that has been transpiring this week. And these young men stood on business in this recent press conference, bro. They let it be known. We going to help recruit. We going to do everything we need to do to help the team win, bro. And that's exactly what they've been doing. Guys, with all that being said, I'm done talking. Let's roll the footage. The best guys, oh, that's it. Hey guys, Jake, DMV, uh, Jake Schwanis from DMBR. Question for the both of you. Um, why should some of the best players in the portal come to Colorado and what are they going to experience when they get here? It's about, just let's just go on positions. If you're an old lineman, you know that all attention is going to be on you. That's first and foremost because uh, the result of last year and what transpired, so the attention is going to be on you regardless. The stage. Yeah, the stage. The coaches. Receivers. This is like you, a, pro, a pro organization. All our coaches are pros, Hall of Famers, and, with experience. And the receivers, you know we're throwing the ball, so it's 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 no doubt that you know you're going to catch a lot of um, footballs here. And the number one thing is if, you, if you're if good, you're going to play. Like a lot of people talk about the favoritism stuff, and I've been to other schools that actually, you know, might be like that, but I promise you if you're good, you're going to play. It's, you'll have more of an opportunity here to legit actually – Display your skills, especially. Yeah, if you're right? not if you're not playing here, that just means you're doing something. Yeah, crazy. so that's it. If you're not playing, if you're not playing here, that means you you showing out, you doing something, you ain't listening to coaches or something. Not everybody see like behind the scenes in practice because we know these guys like who they really are. You know what I'm saying? So you you might get on Instagram, Twitter, and say one thing, but it's like, bro, you you don't even know. You're not even real. doing nothing, bro. So y'all don't know what's really going on in practice every day because y'all just see highlight plays here and there, but we practice every day almost, so we know who's who. And if someone was getting done wrong, you know, we would know that. Adam Mustard Tiger, 24-7 Sports Shiloh. One of the things we heard from Coach Livingston when he came in is that he wanted to kind of tailor the defense to the player's strengths. How has that looked from, from your vantage point so far? So right now, he, he's um, working with me like Jesse Bates. You know, and that's, that's just cool having a guy like that that could really just be like, all right, this is this is who I Relationship blossoming. Uh, it's really good. It's, uh, he lets me go out there, make adjustments, do what, what I got to do. And uh, if it works, if it don't work, we're able to talk about it on the sideline. Or really, whenever we watch film later on or the next day, uh, we're able to talk our way through it. So you don't ever feel locked. You feel like every receiver out there is an option. Uh, every play. And he, he always shows us, you know, NFL clips and things that he called that worked at the highest level. So it's like, uh, so now I know the why behind the concepts of whatever he's calling and what's, what's his purpose. So really understanding like the next step of like his play calls. Cause it, he could, it could be the same play. It could be the same play, a slightly different version but you read it different ways. The purpose of it is for different ways, whether to get a completion or whether to take the deep shot. And it could look exactly the same to the naked eye, but if you know, then you know. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, <clears throat> Scott Proctor at Colorado and Shadur, you made it clear a few months ago that you wanted LeJante in Boulder. What did you see in him from afar that, you know, wanted you, uh, that wanted you to have him, you know, obviously here in Boulder, and what have you seen from him, you know, ten, through 10 or 11 practices so, Yeah, so I pulled up his film, and like I said, I was recruiting him myself. I pulled up, and I said, yeah, like. They don't like when you do that, though. Yeah, like, <laughs> I pulled him up myself. I'm like, nah, we need this guy. I'm trying to do what he's this, doing. This, this is the guy we want. This is the guy we need on the field. This is the guy we need on this team to make us, you know, continue and, and continue to just prosper. Continue. It's really proactive with these receivers because they – caught a lot of footballs and they played a lot of games and everybody came from different levels. So 
uh, we all have one common goal. So that's what I've seen out of Dante, and now he, he's killing it at practice. He's getting open. Sometimes I miss him, sometimes I don't. You know, so it's just it's just going through like the growing pains of playing with each other, and uh, yeah, just ready for that, to have a lot of success. Troy Finnegan, CU Sports Report. Should there a question about another receiver? Almost every DB that we've talked to has shouted out Omarion Miller. What have you seen in his development, and how much fun have you had working with him this spring? No, nah, I'm excited about O because he listens. That's the biggest thing with a receiver. You got to be able to listen. Like, you can't. And I and I like that the role he's playing. Like. And everything that happened last year, and he could have easily went in the portal and been a starter anywhere with ease, with being the number one receiver. But he chose to be here and understand and get his reps and understand and learn and uh, be able to st have the starting position out there. So I just I just like him because he learns and he listens a lot. And, and I work with him and tell him exactly what I see and do it like this and do it like that. So I like him a lot. And he, win and he wins. 90% of the time. Yeah, but if he was going versus us, I don't know. Man, we ain't. Talking about that 90%. Question for both of you guys, kind of two questions here. Shiloh, we talked to Coach Mathis the other day, and he was saying that it's going to be a little bit maybe more cover one this year, and you're going to have Travis inside, and he wants some versatility. How do you see that bettering your overall defense? I can just play more free and just use instincts, really. That's my biggest thing this season. I'm trying to use more instincts. And um, y'all know I'm going to feel the run game. I just need to be more rangy at safety. But most of the time I'll be there, but they just got to throw it. At the end of the day, if you're going to get a pick somewhere, I have to throw it. Sure. But as long as I'm in the right position, and I, I think I could be more instinctive to make some more plays happen, but you don't want to really get caught up in making stuff happen too much. So I definitely want to see some more picks this year from me. What about as a team? As a team, I mean, that's just going to let people just, you're going to see who everyone is. Playing cover one, you can't blame nobody. It's hard. It's definitely hard when you got Travis on the inside. You got the two corners, like, they, and and those are really good guys. So that cover one is it's gonna force you to throw the ball. So you better be able to throw in tight windows and contested, and be able to throw contest and receivers be able to make contested catches. So uh, they're really good though. I'm really Im impressed, like, with how. Both the corners, they came in, and they're, they're out here working. You can only play cover one if you got the guys for it. So Coach seeing we got the guys for it, so he's trying to see how it looks. But we're not just only going to play cover one. We really have a deep bag. You know, Coach is coming from the NFL, so it's not just going to be just cover one. Hey, guys. Uh, Pat Graham, Associated Press. Um, just a question for both of you guys. Given the, uh, the volatility of the transfer portal, do you feel like more of your role has become recruiting players on your team, recruiting other players? You know what I mean? Is that is that just a big part of your life now, just given the volatility of this portal? Well, that always been mine, personally. Uh, that always been mine, is getting the guys that we need to be able to have success. I, I like putting everything in, and a lot of things in my hands. Like, if it's fourth down, you know the ball has to be in my hands. You know, at the final seconds of a game, it got to be in my hands. So, Buddy, you're the quarterback. The ball's going to be in your hands no, every play. You can hand the ball <laughs> off also. You can hand the You're ball still off in your also. Hands. You can hand the ball off also. No, bro. I like just having real control over everything and even having control of my own life, you know. So uh, that's it. One thing I can say, he's actually been on the recruiting stuff for a while. But, I mean, it, it don't really take up much of your life. Like, when I made the post, I was just in the locker room, and I just typed it and then asked him. I was like, hey, Make sure you check your DM, bro. It's about to get wild, so we need some guys. Just, you know, I, we're good, but I just want to be the best for sure. You know, just depth, new guys, you know, bring new energy to practice. You just never know. So it's, it's not ever bad giving guys opportunity to, you know, come to the school. It don't, it don't take up your whole life, though. It's just a post, you know. I sent Coach so many players, I'm not going to lie. It had to be like over 50 guys I sent him. I, I had to refresh. I got to go back. I got to go back. <laughs> he he wait till the weekend answer. to do all his do, to do all his stuff. During the week, he'd be pretty locked in, you know. Um, Jack Carlo from Buffalo's Wire. Um, I guess for either of you, it seems like what coaches have said in the videos that we've seen, that practices have been a lot more physical this spring. Just what do you think has led to that? 
attitude. I, yeah. I think it's a lot of attitude, and I think everybody works here with a purpose. And the old line's doing great. They're they're out there run blocking and really the challenging. The line be them. trying to fight every day. The old line just be trying to start. Offense be the thing about offense though. You get on one on one. That was Shiloh and Shador Sanders letting it be known, bro. We coming to win, though. We ain't got time for none of this. All them players online talking about they this and they that. It's favors. It ain't no favors, bro. We sent you in practice. We know the real. But, guys, this was great for them to speak their piece and let it be known what exactly is transpiring up in Boulder. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And like always, until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Bird, you coming. You should have seen by now. You coming. Yeah, they talking about it. Doubtless. But we're coming, they think saying. We coming, they think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.